we're going to answer the question of what are project roll-ups. That's kind of a strange term, so to answer the question, let's start by going to the Project Tasks tab. You can see that there are six tabs along the top, and the timesheet is selected, so I'm going to choose the Project Tasks tab and take a look at uh, Project Roll-ups. You can see first off that we have projects in this view, and each one of those wide blue bands that you see are a project and you see plus symbols next to each of those which indicates that you can open them up I'm gonna go ahead and click on one that opens up the project and now under that you see some sub projects uh, they also have plus symbols so I'll go ahead and click those and then expand those all out okay so we now have a project with the sub-projects expanded and we're going to take a look at roll-ups and try to get a definition for what that means. Actually it's a very simple term. It simply means that the values you see in the sub-projects and the projects are summations or rolled up from the tasks below them. So the values that I have selected here roll up to this value. In other words they're the total. This is the total for these values. The values you see here roll up to that value. And then again, they roll up to the project level. So they're really just summations or totals for certain values in the projects. Now, what I'm looking at, again, we've got a list of projects here. Uh, the, the wide blue bands are the projects. The narrow blue bands would then be the sub-projects. They could be considered phases or breakdowns of the project, and then the actual tasks uh, below them. I have some columns being displayed here, which are rolled up or totaled up. Uh, we've got the duration column, which signifies the estimated duration for the project. This is the actual work, and this is the percent complete. So these are not the only columns that are rolled up in the project tasks view. Let's go ahead and take a look at the View menu and then choose Columns. We'll see some other columns that can be used or displayed and those values in those columns would also be rolled up. If you look at the list on the left here, you see a lot of columns and some of those have values in them that can be rolled up or told up at the sub-project and then at the project level. For instance, Cost Client. That would be the cost that the client is expected to pay for each task that then rolls up to the sub-project level and then to the project level. Cost Client Actual would be the actual cost that's been incurred by employees typing time into the timesheet. Cost Client Remain would be the total cost minus the actual. There's others as you go through this. Salary Values, uh, Finish Date, Due Date, even the Gantt chart is a graphical roll-up. So as you scroll through this list, you see other values that you can insert into this list and have roll-ups. Year-to-date actual is another one. So let's go ahead and just add a few of these so that you get a sense for what they might look like. I'm going to add the cost client. I click on it, click Add, then I'll click Move Up, move that into position here. And then uh, let's add the cost client actual. So that would be the actual cost that's been incurred so far based on time entered into the timesheet. Go ahead and click close. You can see the view is a little bit different now. We've got new columns here that represent the cost client, cost client actual. You can see that those values are totaling up. If you were to copy these and paste them into Excel, you would see that value. Same thing here. The values in the tasks roll up or total up to the subproject and then to the higher subprojects and then to the actual project. So that's what a project roll up is. Very simple and valuable to see at a glance some of the values in your tasks.